Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. So obviously, guys, with everything happening in the world on a daily basis, all the noise, all the chaos, all the tyrants, we cover a lot of negative things on this show. But today, we're going to be talking about something positive that I've been seeing on TikTok, and it is called Hope Core. And these types of videos have been around for a while, but it seems like now they are even more prevalent, and I think that is an incredibly good thing. And we're going to talk about that today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, and ring that notification notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Okay, so as I have been scrolling on TikTok recently, as I do, you know, a public service trying to find content for you guys, I have seen just an influx in motivational compilation videos that are really, really positive and uplifting. And no, I do not mean the Andrew Tate fanboy edits, even though those circulate as well. This is just like a totally different genre of motivational uplifting videos. These are just people giving good life advice with some empowering, you know, rousing music behind it. And they are blowing up, seriously blowing up. Let's just watch one of these. One day or day one. One day or Day one. One day. Four. Day one. You can't wait for everything to be perfect. I love that Theo is in here. To start living your life. Everything takes time. Everything. Reassess, reboot, get better, figure out another way, find another way through. It's just, just little challenges. I went through every emotion. I went through every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I think that what what gonna separate whoever is gonna try to go for something is that you ain't gonna quit. And that's you know you're gonna really take the stance if I'm gonna die behind what I'm what I'm getting at right now. You're still alive. Now, therefore, God is not done with you. I love the, there's just random animal videos at the end of these. Those are the ones that make me cry. Listen, I don't even know if I'm the target audience for these videos and they make me tear up, seriously. Like just starting off with the one day or day one and then Joe Rogan's little bit that he said in there, you know, about getting back up and resilience. Oh, it's all so good. It's all so good. And so many people need to hear it. Like with how much insane stuff is going on in the world right now, especially in our country, in America, where the economy is absolutely shit and young Americans feel so lost and they feel like their future is just being ripped away from them because they can't afford to just buy groceries and live off of one salary. They feel like they're never going to be able to buy a house. The election is just looming and is insane. We have geopolitical issues across the world that are impacting us and impacting our dollars. There's so much noise, like I said at the beginning. Beginning. And these videos, I think, are breaking through all of that. Like, there's no political meaning. There's no alternative woke underlying in any of these videos. They're just pure. And they are reaching so many people. Here's another one. It also starts with Theo Vaughn. I love that he's in so many of these, and it just warms my heart because I love him. Uh, but anyway, watch this one, too. Hey man, you can't wait for everything to be perfect to start living your life. What am I doing with my life? I love this one. <laughs> I'm alive! Free yourself! <laughs> Say you could snap your fingers and be wherever you wanted to be. I bet you'd still feel this way, not in the right place. Point is, you can't get so hung up on where you'd rather be, and you forget how to make the most of where you are. What are you telling me? Take a break from worrying about what you can't control. So good. Live a little. I'm always waiting for everything to be perfect before I live my life. As soon as these things line up, I'm gonna live my life. It's not all gonna, I'm never gonna get to that where everything's okay, where everything looks a certain way. And in the meantime, I'm burning the best time I do have available. And another reason why I love these videos is because they pop up in the midst of all of the other crap that we see on social media. You know, all the comparisons of other people, what are other people doing, what are people buying, all the overconsumption that is just dominating TikTok right now, which is just a huge thing, and I want to do a whole episode about that, but really just all of the comparisons of everybody else's lives. I love that so many of the messages in these videos are, you can only control some things, and it's one thing that I live by and that I say all the time, but you can only control your response to the things happening around you and happening in the world. So make the most of that. Like some of these videos are saying, you know, go out, live a little, do crazy things, but they're also saying like, the grass is greener where you water. You do have control over a lot of things in your life and you should, you know, take that opportunity. 
to make it better. I just think they're so fantastic. And even though I'm a girl who likes these videos, for the most part, they are targeted and consumed by men, which is something that kind of surprised me when I looked at the comment section, but it was all guys responding to this. And the guys are eating it up on social media. And I can say this from experience because I sent a couple of these videos to my team, which is very male dominant. I was like, what do you guys think about this? Have you seen these before? Should I do an episode about this? And immediately I started getting messages from my male producers being like, oh my God, I'm so pumped up. Oh my God, one day or day one, it's like, it's really hitting different right now. Like they love it. And they're not alone in that. Read these comments. I'm so hyped up. Thank you all for your help to cheer me up. I'm so thankful for that. Another guy said, been telling myself that I don't need to be weight to be happy, but putting in that effort is tough. Gotta be better. Stay up, Kings. The motivation that is happening in these comment sections is amazing. I mean, they're so positive. There's no division, no debating, no politics. It's just dudes being dudes, hyping each other up, and we love to see it. I mean, like I said earlier, these motivational type videos have been around for ages. This is nothing new. I think since the beginning of social media, this has been like a genre of videos. I remember scrolling on Facebook back in, you know, 2016, probably the last time I used Facebook on a regular basis, other than for Facebook Marketplace, which you guys know I love. But I remember watching like the emotional edits of famous, you know, graduation speeches and that sort of thing. But these specific videos have a new name. They're kind of designed just for TikTok. And I started to see it pop up in the comment section. I didn't know that it had a name. But one guy said, hope core chills hit different. So obviously had to go to Urban Dictionary and they said, it's a genre of videos that invoke a feeling of hope, glee, wholesomeness, and most happy emotions. They can range to nostalgic clips, beautiful scenery, and usually have an audio of sliced together videos and songs. You can use it in a sentence. Man, the only thing keeping me alive right now is my mom and hope core videos. I'm telling you, it's reaching the men. The men are being impacted by the Hope Core videos on TikTok. And like I said, it might not even be a new trend, but I didn't know that this was an actual thing with a name with a label until I started looking into it. And guys, it's just so positive. Like the joy that these videos bring is comparable to the joy I feel when I use stamps.com. Guys, the holiday rush is here and that means more mailing and shipping for your family and your business, but it doesn't have to mean more stress. Stamps.com has been helping businesses like yours save time and money for 25 years and it can help you get ready for the holiday ramp up. Focus on your business and your family and rest easy knowing that Stamps.com has all of your postage needs covered with premium discounts and great rates. Stamps.com is a one-stop shop for all of your shipping and mailing needs. All you need is a computer and a printer, and you can print out your own postage right from your home or office within minutes. Stamps.com has huge carrier discounts with up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates, and they will automatically tell you your cheapest and fastest shipping options. If you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through Stamps.com's dashboard. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. I know none of us like trying to ship out presents or ship out products during the holiday season because those lines are insane. Again, I'm telling you, no stress, just joy with stamps.com. And here at Daily Wire, you guys know we do not mess around. We do not waste time with anything. We have been using stamps.com since 2017. They keep us running without a hitch. They boost our efficiency and our office mom, Taylor, our office coordinator would not be able to send out so many letters and products to our members without stamps.com. We truly rely on them. So get your business ready for the holiday rush and get started with stamps.com today. Sign up at stamps.com slash Cooper for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale to get you started. No long-term commitments or contracts, but I know you're gonna love it. Again, that is stamps.com slash Cooper. Anyway, back to Hope Core, which, you know, makes me as happy as stamps.com, but I think that there is a bigger discussion to be had in seeing how all of the guys in the comments are reacting so positively to these videos because it's seriously like they are starved for this kind of content and this kind of empowerment. Shocking. Like, no, <laughs> I don't think that anybody was watching this video is guessing why this is positive for men. We have talked about it a lot, but there are so many issues concerning men that are not getting addressed in our society. Modern feminism lies to us and convinces us that men are the problem and that women are oppressed by them, when in fact, women are now on top and are succeeding by every single margin. They are advancing faster than men. Women now have more degrees than men. We're making, you know, the same amount of money, if not more than men. Our mental health is better than men. And then we turn around and we see that men are getting left behind and they're literally having doors slammed shut in their faces. When I said that, the thing I imagined was a man applying for a job, really wanting a job, being super qualified, maybe more qualified than any of the other applicants, but then getting pushed aside for a female applicant just so the company can say, oh yes, we hired a woman. Like that is what is happening to men on a daily basis. All while being told that the things that naturally make them men are wrong and backwards and toxic and bigoted. Like no wonder men are struggling. And because of all of this, they are becoming increasingly isolated. Here's a headline about that. Male loneliness, the ticking time bomb that is killing men. It's been described as a silent epidemic. The number of lonely men in the UK and US is on the rise and so are male suicides. Feminists love to ignore this. 
They love to ignore all of these statistics, but men are more suicidal. Men are struggling. Men are more often homeless. Men lack meaningful friendships, as another article says here. According to a recent YouGov poll in the UK, almost one in five men owned up to not having a single close friend. Furthermore, one in three, 32%, stated that they didn't have a best friend. For women, these figures were lower at 12 and 24%, respectively, suggesting that on average, men in the UK are leading more solitary lives compared to women. So obviously, no surprise here that this type of content that Hope Corps is making an impact on men's days as they're scrolling through social media, especially considering that social media is the younger generation's social landscape. Like this is where they are going for community and support and comfort. And I'm so glad that they are finding this kind of content instead of the other garbage that they could be consuming. And we can see with this Hope Corps trend that men are connecting to it because they need a tribe and they need positive reinforcements in our society. These videos are not pointing the finger at anybody or whining about the world around them. It is just straight positivity and motivation. And that is so good. And the proof is not only in the studies that we mentioned, but it is also in the sheer size of the reach of these videos. Here's a couple screenshots. Like this one has 12.7 million views, 3.2 million likes. It is so common to see these types of numbers on these Hope Core videos which is just wild. That is not normal on TikTok. Like millions and millions and millions of men are connecting with this. And the comment sections are positive, just pure gratitude and appreciation. Guys commenting to other guys saying, hey man, you've got this, I'm supporting you. It's amazing. One guy said, always remember things get worse before they get better. They're offering support to each other. Another one said, I remember one time I was going through a lot and was thinking about just ending things. But then one night my TikTok feed was just filled with these types of videos, like one after the other. Silly as it was, I took it as a sign that maybe things would get better and they did after a while. Somebody else said, I didn't know that Hope Core TikTok existed. I'm so happy that I saw this. And I love that men are expressing all of this, that they feel safe enough and comfortable enough in this community that is being built by Hope Corps, as ridiculous as it sounds, that they feel comfortable enough to comment these types of things. And it reminds me of when Chris Williamson was on the show to talk to me. By the way, he is on tour right now. He has sold out shows. It looks amazing. If you have the chance to go see him, you absolutely should. If not, just watch his podcast because he's brilliant. But anyway, Chris talked about the importance of men finding community and that he felt like that was one of the biggest solutions for this man crisis that we're seeing in society. And I know that it is so hard. Like that is an easy thing to say, but it is a very, very difficult thing to do, especially in our digital landscape. It takes getting out of your comfort zone. I've been there, I know. But you need to find people who are going to encourage you and set goals with you and just be men with you and push you to be better. And these videos and these comment sections aren't exactly that, but it is a step in the right direction for so many men, and that is such a good thing. So I am officially Hope Corps' number one fan. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.